Okay, those of you taking writing one, I wanted to provide an example of the paragraph that we're working on this week. It's always good to, when you finish your paragraph, also to read it aloud. Listen to yourself read it. I'll go ahead and read mine as an example here, and then we'll uh, look at the different parts of, uh, of this paragraph. We'll go and kind of do a mini analysis. So the paragraph reads as follows. Learners who take propedeutic courses can integrate the four skills in all of the subjects because they are able to implement reading, writing, and note-taking strategies. For instance, reading strategies that prope learners take in the reading courses, for example, skimming and scanning, can also be used when reading topics to read about in the Writing One class. Similarly, learners who develop paragraphs in Writing One can be used to practice paraphrasing, a speaking skill. Writing strategies like brainstorming, outlining, and mind maps also are good for planning a speaking exercise in the listening and speaking class. Finally, note-taking helps in any class a learner is receiving new information about a particular topic. Recording a lecture, taking notes on one's cell phone, and simply taking notes in a physical notebook are different ways that learners can capture new information that later can be organized and studied for further understanding. Reading, writing, and note-taking strategies are not all of the strategies that learners uh, that Propi learners need, but they provide the basis for developing a set of study habits that will help them become more effective and efficient learners, not only in Propi, but all throughout the BA and ELT major. So let's take a look here at this example. And you'll notice in this paragraph, it begins with the topic sentence. So as we talked about in class, we looked at beginning a topic sentence with a subject and a verb so that's going to form our opinion so here in this case our subject are learners more specifically learners who take propi classes so this is our subject and we're going to include the relative clause who take propi duty courses as well can integrate the four skills in all of the subjects so here this is going to be our predicate. This is going to be, we've got our verb here, can integrate. And uh, this is our direct object, the four skills in all of the subjects. So notice that I'm being a little bit more specific that they, uh, in referring to how they can integrate these different skills throughout the courses. Then we list our because. So because, now we're going to think about our reasons, all right? So basically we have reason number one, we're going to look at a reading strategy. Writing strategy would be our second, and note-taking strategy would be our third reason. And again, these are going to be our reasons in red. Now, whenever you're developing your own topic sentence and you're listing out your reasons, the order is important. So just as I follow this order, reading, writing, and note-taking strategies, I want to follow the same order throughout my paragraph. So my first example is going to be about reading strategies. Reading strategies is coming directly from my topic sentence, but now I'm going to speak more specifically about the reason, and I'm going to include examples. So here I read the sentence reads, reading strategies that Propi learners take in, reading, in the reading course can also be used when reading topics to write about in, uh, in the writing class. So here I'm expanding the topic of this reason. And here are my examples. I'll put the examples in orange. So I have skimming and scanning. These are my specific examples of reading strategies. And I talk, I give an example also of how to use it in reading class and writing class okay now looking at the next example similarly so I'm using a sentence connector all right so I've got a sentence connector here these are my transitions for instance here's my transition here so similarly learners who develop paragraphs in writing one can be used to practice paraphrasing and speaking in the speaking skill Okay, so here we have uh, an example of, we have writing one, 
uh, can be used to, to practice paraphrasing. So this is another example. Uh, that you can use. So here I decided to use two different sentences to support uh, my first case of reading. Okay. All right, now if we look at the next example, writing strategies like brainstorming and outlining mind maps also are good for planning a speaking exercise. Okay, so here I'm discussing different writing strategies that can be used in the speaking class and I'm giving some examples so let's go back to our orange color and we'll indicate brainstorming outlining and mind maps I'm listing very specific examples of writing strategies and I'm referencing both the writing class and the speaking listening and speaking class now my last connector here sentence connector finally so I have finally and now I'm gonna list my last note-taking strategy note-taking helps in any class a learner is receiving new information about a particular topic so again just kind of placing this idea of note-taking applying to any topic then I give some examples so I have recording a lecture taking notes on one cell phone and simply taking notes in a physical notebook, these are all examples, are different ways that learners can capture new information that later can be organized and studied. So this is where I'm kind of expanding on the idea, I'm organized and studied for further understanding. So that means that I'm adding a little bit more, not just stating this, the strategy, but I'm also saying after one takes notes, they can organize and they can actually study and review those in, in different ways so kind of expanding on that idea just a bit then my last sentence is my summarizing sentence so here notice that I am summarizing or restating the three strategies reading writing and note-taking are not all of the strategies that the appropriate uh, learners need so I'm saying this is not everything that they need but there's a there's more you know there's more out there but they provide the basis for developing a set of study habits that will help them become more effective and efficient. So basically just a closing statement saying that it's not everything, but this is a good way to start, not only for proper classes, but something that they can take with them uh, throughout the BA. So kind of a way to close the, the, the paragraph. So this is uh, an example. I wanted to share this analysis with you because I want you to try to do the same thing when you're developing your own paragraphs as a team. Make sure that your team paragraph sounds like one person writing it. How can you do that? Make sure that you're connecting ideas. In this case, I'm using I'm using sentence connectors. Of course, you can use inter introductory phrases. Uh, notice that I follow the same order, reading, writing, and note-taking. I follow that same order throughout when I organize my paragraph. That's also very important so that it's very coherent. And Make sure that you try to link your ideas as much as possible from one sentence to the next. I hope this example helps. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave comments below uh, this video.